Welcome to the latest Excel networking video briefing. The Excel Explain series of videos has been designed and developed to provide important technology updates in bite-sized sessions and are based upon frequently asked questions received by our technical team. Each one will last no more than five minutes or the time to drink a cup of coffee. This particular presentation relates to the construction products regulation and the general level of misunderstanding and confusion surrounding the testing methods employed to classify cables. We will endeavour to explain the key important differences between the CPR and the non-discriminatory testing carried out using the IEC 60332-3 series. IEC 60332-3 uses a test method that calls for all the cables placed on the ladder rack to be touching, therefore not allowing any gaps to allow the flame to circulate the complete cable. It uses a 10 kilowatt flame for the duration of 20 minutes. The big problem is it does not have any strict flame spread limits. It only has a recommendation of 2.5 millimeters contained within an informative annex which is as it sounds, for information. It is not a requirement and can therefore be abused. BSEN 5399, on the other hand, tests for amongst other things, flame spread using a group of cables on the vertical ladder rack for classifications of C and above. These cables are placed with separation between each one to allow the flame to spread around each cable thoroughly. It uses a greater 20.5 kilowatt heat source for the same 20 minutes and has a strict pass fail limit of 2 meters. Hopefully this presentation has highlighted some of the shortcomings of the IEC 60332-3 series in comparison to the much more discriminatory testing that is carried out for the CPR. If you have any questions about the CPR, please send an email to cpr at xl-networking.com and we will endeavour to answer it in a timely manner. Thank you for listening.